بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين يبايعونك إنما يبايعون الله يد الله فوق أيديهم فمن نكث فإن ما ينكث على نفسه ومن أوفى بما عاهد عليه الله فسيؤتيه أجرا عظيما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the last class we were discussing a few things right okay last how we were discussing how to frame a question open question and closed question question words and its use right means it was a simple lesson we were not discussing any complicated theme or any uh, intact grammar or anything else we were simply already you know something we are just modifying that in the last class i was talking uh, very fast also because you know in ca in case of uh, speaking english i always believe that we should listen to someone speak right when someone speaks we have to listen to them maybe when we talk about listening we always think that listening means uh, to listen to someone uh, who speak in a video or in an audio never listening means if you are listening to me and when you speak and if i listen to you that all comes in, in account of listening Maybe when you are teachers, they speak. That's why uh, we always prefer to talk in English in the classroom. Many students uh, tell me that, so if we take some class in Malayalam in our mother tongue, it's true. And I, I, I tell and I, I trust that uh, people understand the themes or concept when we talk in mother tongue better than any other language. I understand that. And I uh, support that philosophy and that truth. And I don't deny that. Same time, I tell you, and uh, you trust me, if you are ready to listen to me, not only me, any teacher, I am not a, uh, not a big teacher or uh, I, I am not a great scholar in English, but I just tell you one thing if you are listening to me and if i can listen to you also you can improve your english i mean the way i talk will influence you sometime and when i listen to you the way you talk influence me also and someone tell sir i don't know how sir i don't understand what you speak sir i don't understand what you say uh, that's not true you are lying you understand because i use only very simple english and you understand it who tell you don't know english who tell you don't know how to use english you know it at least you understand me you studied up to 10 standard so whenever you are ready to listen to me this would be okay right അവസാന ക്ലാസ്സിൽ നമ്മൾ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് പറഞ്ഞത് അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ പലർക്കും തോന്നും മലയാളത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ നന്നായിരുന്നു വളരെ സിമ്പിളായ കാര്യമാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് അറിയില്ല എന്ന് നിങ്ങൾ ഒരിക്കലും നിങ്ങളോട് പറയരുത് യു നെവർ ടെൽ യു ദാറ്റ് യു ഡോ നോ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് യു ഷുഡ് നോ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ ഇറ്റ് നിങ്ങൾക്കത് അറിയാം ബിക്കോസ് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് മീ ഐ യു ക്യാൻ ഗെറ്റ് മൈ വേർഡ്സ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ്സിൽ ഓൾറെഡി ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ദാറ്റ് വി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിങ് ടുഡേ അബൌട്ട് question fries so we will be discussing how to frame questions with all these words simply and i will finish the class very soon okay are you happy today right okay so how long how we use the word how long how far how often how old how much how many and how come all this we will be discussing today right i hope Uh, you already know the differences between all this we will be asking questions with how so related words and it's it comes in our day to day english i'm not talking about anything which is rare it's very common and we have to use it in our day to day english and when you speak 
the one and only way to be fluent in English, to be okay with English language when you speak, there is only one way that is to speak. Worldwide shortcut to speak a language is to speak it. There is no any other way. When you speak, you should speak errorless English and I too have to speak it. Even I am I'm not, uh, uh, I, I don't tell you that I speak errorless English, but I should also try for that. So let's try together, let's study together, let's improve together. Is it? Right. Anyway, uh, so if you want to talk errorless English, we should know some points. I mean, I will be, uh, I will be talking about how long, how far, I mean everything. But what is needed? I'm not going into the in-depth grammatical discussion or anything. What we need in this class, that's what I would like to tell you today. Okay. Anyway, when we come to the expression how long. So, how long, the word how long we use to ask about time. Okay. Example, how long have you been studying in Wafi or in Wafia? How long was your stay in India? So, we can answer that I have been studying here for two years or uh, five years. How long was your stay in India? Yeah, uh, I, I, uh, my stay in India is uh, four years or five years. Like you have to answer that question also. Okay. How long have you been living in this house? So I have been living here for four years, I mean uh, for two weeks, anything you can answer. So here you have to think how long is if you wanted to ask about the time, time period. So that's there is difference between how long and how far. In case of how far, we would like to know the distance. So maybe in case of how long we think that how long it's distance, never think. There is a misunderstanding between students. They sometimes use the word how long instead of how far. Because long, long means distance. Never think. So how long is a duration of time, amount of time, and how far is the distance? I mean far in the parna wakin artan than dure nanalo, right? Dure. So dure. Okay. Long the parna nealam apo etranam ponam namal malayat lur bash and etranam to ponam. Okay, right? But uh, understand the difference between how long and how far. See, use it to ask the distance from one of one place from another. I mean, from one place to another place. How far is your office from your home? So it's five kilometers. So answer will be coming five kilometers, two meter distance, one centimeter. Like okay, my office is five kilometers away from my home. How far is the cinema? I mean, uh, the theater, it's a mile away from here. How far will you drive to reach the station? I mean, when we are moving uh, in a car and the driver is moving very slow, we want to reach there very fast, then we will be asking him, how far will you drive to reach the station? Uh, so, five more kilometers, ma'am about uh, 35 kilometers so here why i talk about this you have to understand the difference between how long and how far so just look at the board in case of how long we here we would like to know about the duration of the time okay and the or the amount of time Okay, and in case of how far, only the far means duram. This here we would like to know the distance. Okay, so uh, from a distance, like how far? Okay, my handwriting is very beautiful. You can already see this. Okay, anyway, how long? It's about duration. How long you have been here means never think about this word long. Anyway. In case of this, you have to count how far is a distance and how long is duration. I mean, like think about a clock here in case of long and here you have to count an arrow. Okay, so this is far. So how long you have been here? How long you have been here? How, uh, how long you have been staying here? Okay, so how far our office from our home? So it's five kilometers away okay so 
understand the difference between how far and how long far is about distance and long is about duration of the time okay and the third word comes is how often how often or often as you like this is to ask about frequently doing something means like not about how many times that's another one how many how often means frequently means continuously uh, that is a question about how often i hope this is very clear from the board itself and from the examples itself well let's go through this i already told you about how far and how long now it's about how often okay asking about how frequently something happens maybe it, it can be in the present or can be in the past or future and we we can use I, I just mentioned here so you can use uh, how long and how far as on the present and future anywhere how often do you plan to play tennis this summer as often as possible that's answer that's great every day if I can so uh, something that you are doing frequently something that you are doing frequently in case of how many times it comes total how many times how many times did you play tennis means uh, I play 10 times it's not like that as often so once in a week or uh, once in a month twice in a month like that is the answer here and coming to the next question how often will you visit your mother see here I was asking about what the present condition and here we are asking we are asking about the future I mean varum kaalathu sambhavikkunna kaaryangale kurichu idu ippa nadannondirikkunna sambhavangale kurichulla chodyam understand how often will you visit your mother in hospital I shall try to visit at least once a week so idinde answer nokku once a week so uh, as often as possible idokka kando and uh, how often how many times in the Tamil you have to understand there how often did you go uh, to the cinema I mean this is all about past okay, look at the word did did is mean present present in the present continuous I call present continuous in the present I can tell I am teaching okay uh, so, that's present in the present. We have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. Okay. And uh, how often did you do this? This is what I'm going to Did you go to the uh, cinema when you were young? When you were young means it's, it's, it's a simple question. You can ask some, uh, something other. How often did you uh, go to the uh, program or the speech program? And anything else. Okay. Every weekend, without fail, I go for cinema every weekend. Uh, there was no television then. I mean, at that time, there was no television. That's why I always went to theater. That's it. So I hope you understood the word how often. Namaly how far, how long, how often. But in our regular English, in our day-to-day -day English, if you are trying to practice this well, Means, namalo oru kaariyatte kuruchu how many times ano, how much ano, how far ano, how long ano, yenna ke chindi chu namalo adhya gatte thelo ke deliberately we have to try. Okay, I hope you also wanted to speak in English very well. Ningal ko ke English il namalo the samsaari ke nontal pirundao. That's why C I C just implementing this course. Ado naan C I C yoru course mai mano to verinade. So you people are lucky even. At least you are getting class. But you should concentrate, you should try. A teacher can only support you. support Same time, if you are ready to determine yourself and take a decision in your mind, you can speak English, you can listen to English, take your own time and uh, go in your own way. Means uh, go with your own way. Ningal ningal Sure, you can do many miracles in your life. Within two years or within one year, within six months, you can speak English fluently, but you should try. At least if you want to speak with someone, you have your teachers, you have your tutors, everyone is there. Maybe you can contact me if you want to speak with me also, you can just uh, send a voice. 
okay then i can replay also in voice then we we can have voice chat then uh, you will learn english fluently okay and you can seek the maximum you can seek the help of your teacher they are very good at english ningal teachers nannai samsarikkunna varana nannai ariyunna varana you can utilize them ningal avare upayogikkana okay when teacher call you you feel ah ayalukku innum cheyidu kodukkana oh innala kore questions innu kore samsaram never think so it's for your benefit okay your teachers are capable of doing much for you okay i just simply stand here and just make some tutorials some tuition classes for you okay anyway uh, coming to the point i hope you understood all this nannai samsarikkanam undengil ningal endu cheyanam nannai work out cheyanam hard work mathramana nalla result ne ningale preripikkuga ennu eppol manasilakka okay so let's move to the next part that's about how old this we already know this like uh, from how old maybe how old is he, uh, uh, how old is he how old are you maybe how we can use how old means singular subject leave all this never how old is tom so id engena yana nammal ee how old kondu question undakkandade ennaanu how old en edine shesham plus or is or alengil r o edum ningal kubhayikkam like that uh, like uh, singular subject avumbo how old is tom ഒരു പ്ലൂറൽ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് ആകുമ്പോൾ ഹൗ ഓൾ ആർ യുവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ചൈൽഡിൻ്റെ പ്ലൂറൽ ആണ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ലൈക്ക് സോ ഹൗ ഓൾഡ് എന്ന് എഴുതിയതിന് ശേഷം ആർ അപ്പം ഈ ഈസും ആറും മാറി മാറി ഉപയോഗിക്കേണ്ടത് എന്തിനാന്ന് അറിയാലോ സിംഗുലർ സബ്ജക്റ്റ് ആണെങ്കിൽ അതായത് ഒരാളാണെങ്കിൽ അൺട്രസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ലൈക്ക് പെൺ ഹി ഷി വൺ വൺ പേഴ്സൺ മോർ ദാൻ വൺ പേഴ്സൺ ആണെങ്കിൽ യു ഹാവ് ടു യൂസ് ആർ ഓക്കെ ആം എന്നത് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നതാണ് ഐ എന്നിൻ്റെ കൂടെയാണ് ഹൗ ഓൾഡ് ഐ Okay, I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to talk about this. Same time, I hope this is very simple, how old, uh, never, how old is you, that's a mistake. We have to say that unknowingly, we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that how old is you, how old are you? How old are you? Okay. How old are you? That's a famous question, that's why uh, people don't forget that. I, 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 I believe so. okay anyway uh, how old and coming to the next point i hope this is very clear and very simple coming to the next point how much and how many this is not much complicated same time uh, always students make mistake in this case how much and how many oru ella kaalathum oru vayya veriyan right anyway it, it is very simple to understand i am not going to the in depth grammar of how much or how many what you have to understand സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിന് എന്തൊക്കെയാണോ മനസ്സിലാക്കാനുള്ളത് അത് മാത്രമാണ് ഞാൻ പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഹൗ മച്ചും ഹൗ മനി നമ്മൾ കാര്യമായിട്ട് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് എന്തിനാണ് സി വെൻ വി വോണ്ട് ടു നോ ദ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഓർ എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് സംതിങ് വി ആസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് വിത്ത് ഹൗ മച്ച് ഓർ ഹൗ മനി അപ്പം എത്ര എണ്ണമുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ എത്ര എണ്ണമുണ്ട് എന്നറിയാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എത്ര ഉണ്ട് എമൗണ്ട് അല്ലേ എണ്ണം ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ പറയുമ്പോൾ വൺ കിലോ എന്നുള്ളത് ഒരു എണ്ണമല്ല വൺ ലിറ്റർ എണ്ണമല്ല റൈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ അതേസമയം ഹൗ മനി ടെൻ പെൻസ് അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ എത്ര ഒരു കടയിലേക്ക് പോകുമ്പോൾ പല സാധനങ്ങളുണ്ടാവും ചിലതിൻ്റെ എമൗണ്ട് ആണ് ചോദിക്കുക റൈറ്റ് വെൻ യു ഗോ ടു എ ഷോപ്പ് ഷോപ്പ് കീപ്പർ വുഡ് ആസ്ക് യു സം ടൈം റൈറ്റ് എ ഷോപ്പ് കീപ്പർ ഐ നീഡ് പെൻ ഹൗ മനി പെൻസ് യു നീഡ് സൊ ഇഫ് യു ടെൽ ഹിം ഐ നീഡ് ഷുഗർ എനിക്ക് പഞ്ചസാര വേണമെന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ നിനക്ക് എത്ര പഞ്ചസാര എന്ന് മലയാളത്തിൽ ചോദിക്കുമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും എത്ര കിലോ എന്നാണ് അർത്ഥം എത്ര എണ്ണം എന്നാലും അർത്ഥം റൈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ്സ് എമൗണ്ട് സോ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ആൻഡ് എമൗണ്ട് യു ഹാവ് ടു അൺട്രസ്റ്റാൻഡ് സോ ഹൗ മച്ച് പ്ലസ് അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ നൗൺ ആൻഡ് ഹൗ മനി പ്ലസ് പ്യൂറൽ നൗൺ മീൻസ് ഹിയർ യു ഹാവ് ടു അൺട്രസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഹൗ മച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഹൗ മനി ഹൗ മച്ചിൻ്റെയും ഹൗ മനിയുടെയും ഡിഫറൻസ് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ നമ്മൾ എന്തുകൂടി അറിയണം കൗണ്ടബിൾ നൗൺ ആൻഡ് അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ വാട്ട് മീൻ ബൈ ദ വേഡ് കൗണ്ട് കൗണ്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എണ്ണുക അല്ലേ ഇറ്റ്സ് വെരി സിമ്പിൾ മക്കളെ വെരി 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 സിമ്പിൾ ബിക്കോസ് യു നോ അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ നൗൺ മീൻസ് സംതിങ് വി കനോട്ട് കൗണ്ട് നമുക്ക് എണ്ണാൻ കഴിയില്ല എണ്ണാൻ കഴിയില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ വി കനോട്ട് കൗണ്ട് ദ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ നമ്പർ ലൈക്ക് നമുക്ക് പോകണമെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം രണ്ട് ചാക്ക് പഞ്ചസാര എന്ന് പറയാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ രണ്ട് ബക്കറ്റ് വെള്ളം എന്ന് പറയാം അല്ലേ മേ ബി നമ്മൾ മലയാളത്തിൽ വെൻ വി ഗോ ടു ഷോപ്പ് രണ്ട് വെള്ളം എന്ന് പറയാറുണ്ട് ഇറ
ടു ഗ്ലാസ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടേഴ്സ് അല്ലേ രണ്ട് പിന്നെ ഗ്ലാസ് വെള്ളത്തിനാണ് നമ്മളത് പറയാറുള്ളത് അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് നമുക്ക് സിംഗിൾ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ ആയിട്ട് എണ്ണാൻ കഴിയാത്തതിനെ ആൻഡ് കൗണ്ടബിൾ മീൻസ് എന്താണ് സിംഗിൾ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ ആയി നമുക്ക് എണ്ണാൻ കഴിയുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളെ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ദിസ് എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് വിൽ മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ക്ലിയർ ഫോർ യു ലിസൺ കൗണ്ടബിൾ ആൻഡ് അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ നൗൺ they are the things that we can count for example pen if i have a pen i can count 1 2 3 4 5 5 pens i have four pens five pens like something we cannot count like example rice nammal ari parayumbo 1 kilo or 2 kilos that's our word okay so ningal countable um uncountable um manasilakkunnathinte oru 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 upagaram ennu parayunnathu orikkalum ippo mathramalla edu oru grammar inde bhagathilude ningal kadannu pogumbolum ചില ഭാഗങ്ങളിലൊക്കെ ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ എനി ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഫ്യൂ ഉപയോഗിക്കുമ്പോൾ അത് കൗണ്ടബിൾ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ ദർ ആർ സം ഡിഫറൻസസ് വെൻ യു യൂസ് എച്ച് വേർഡ്സ് ആർ യു ഗെറ്റിംഗ് മീ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ഓൺ ദ വേർഡ് കൗണ്ടബിൾ ഓർ അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹിയർ വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ പോയിന്റ് ഹിയർ വൺ മോർ ടൈം കൗണ്ടബിൾ ആൻഡ് അൺകൗണ്ടബിൾ സി ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ഗിവ് യു സം എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ ദിസ് ലുക്ക് എറ്റ് ദ ബോർഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിയർ ഹിയർ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഓക്കെ So I hope it's clear. Look, apple, one apple, two apple. Can you tell? Oh, one sugar, two sugar. No, you cannot use that. It's cool. One water, two water. You can use same time. Understand, we don't use mean individual number. One glass of water, one bucket of water. Like, okay, one bottle of water. Like picture, pictures, pen. That's all these words we can use. Same time, look at the word sugar, water, salt, air. We cannot count it. Now, I'm going to count countable and uncountable. How many of you can count it? How many of you can count it? How many of you can count it? For example, how many apples do you have? how many schools we have to visit how many pictures have you seen how many pens did you buy look here how much sugar do you need to the coffee how much water do you need to take bath how much salt did you have today okay and uh, air means how much air is there like if you want to ask about the air it's uncountable okay so you have to understand the difference between how much and how many i hope this would make it very clear now you just go through the examples of how much and how many i would like to tell you about how much how much time do we have to finish the test so here the word look at the word time the word time here mean it's an uncountable one that's why we are not using the plural form here after how much we are using time how much money did you spend look at the word spend this is present already this is past that's why we are making this present how much money did you spend i spent a lot of money how much sugar would you like in your coffee how much paper will i need so paper also sometimes comes as uncountable noun we don't use paper so because we need a bulk number so coming to the how many it's very clear here also how many is used when we want to know the quantity of something we want to know the quantity of something but we want to know the quantity in numbers something we want to know the quantity of things which we can count with numbers like it's used with plural countable nouns understand plural enna vaakyam artham ariyalo singular ennu paranjal ekha vajanam plural ennu paranjal bahu vajanam onnaanu nammal arabicil okke oru pakshe 1 2 2 2 plus angane aanu undavarulladile englishil 1 1 plus okay 1 plus okke plural aanu understand onnil koodulladu okke plural aanu so means from 2 3 onwards so how many plus plural noun how many days are there in january okay how many days day and about one day two day three days 31 days okay how many people work in your company here you will understand the thing look here the plural form days is here the people is already plural word understand we don't have to change it peoples there is no such word how many cousins do you have cousins so idana nammal ee vilikkarulladu ingane s cherthu plural form undakkuna vaakkale nammal vilikkarulladu regular plural forms ennaanu ingane nere s illada varuna pa child inde plural endaanu children that we call irregular plural forms okay i hope that's very clear for you we are just discussing very simple matters okay Anyway, how many books did you buy? Nee athra pusthakam vaangi. Okay. So that is a difference between how many and how much. Now I would like to make it more clear for you. Look at the board. So in case of how many, we use like how many plus 
any plural form like pens so how many pens do you have how many pencils you i write here plus s means an s form not s form with a plural form okay and uh, how many people are uh, i mean how many uh, are you there i mean uh, you can make a question out with that okay how many people are coming okay or how many children are coming you can use a use how many pens are coming we cannot use that it's a personification in case of uh, poems okay and just to understand the difference okay so in case of how much what you can use see, think about how much see uh, how much plus how much and in case of this you have to use a uncountable noun see an uncountable noun here so how much sugar do you want okay so like that you have to use okay so i hope you understood the difference between countable and uncountable and how much plus how many okay now you just do this work that would make it easy just try to finish this i mean just to understand the difference between how many and how much you should understand the difference between countable and uncountable that's a point okay that's a point there when you understand that think about it can we count it or not and you have to go into deep if you you if you want to understand if you search you will get countable nouns and uncountable nouns that's very easy also okay now you just try to find the answer for this how many or how much what do you have to do how many countries or how much countries so always when you answer these questions think about these nouns okay students dash milk okay so uh, when you ask about cost so one more thing i would like to tell you maybe we will use after how much we will be using some countable how much uh, how much is this pen how much are these pens we will be using that that is to know the price of something see look at this word how much does that dress cost okay it means how much we use to know the price of something okay how much is this pen cost understand so we use how much for knowing the price also do this work and send to your teacher okay he would make it clear or she would make it clear for you now we have another word so just brief what we were discussing how far how long how many how much how all how come it's an informal usage and we were discussing the last part about um, and uh, how much and how many will discuss it and how come it's informal see means uh, asking for reason asking why how come i can see her so look just read this find the answer for everything and uh, time or space just leave it amount of time quantity countable uncountable okay so i hope it's very clear for you adutha class il nammal auxiliary switch engena question do you have uh, does he ennu thodangana questions inde sila pratheegathagal very simple aayittu parayum and we must have some listening class also always don't think always many grammars other things so it's getting bored never think so angana orikkalum vicharikkerudu okay നമുക്ക് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയ ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ എന്ന് ഞാൻ പറയില്ല ഐ നവേഴ്സ് എ ദാറ്റ് ഒരു കാര്യം ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആവണോ ആവണ്ടേ എന്ന് തീരുമാനിക്കുന്നത് നമ്മളാണ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇപ്പോൾ ഒരേ കാര്യം മേ ബി ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ക്ലാസ് സമൺ ഓഫ് യു ഫീൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് സമൺ ഓഫ് യു ഡോൺ ബിക്കോസ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഓക്കെ വിത്ത് ദസ് ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ ഐ ഹാവ് ടു ടെൽ യു നിങ്ങൾ വളരെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ തയ്യാറാണെങ്കിൽ യു ക്യാൻ ക്രാക്ക് ആൻ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ലാംഗ്വേജ് I hope you got many introductory clause about many other things. I hope you got many introductory clause about many other things. I hope you got many introductory clause about many other things. I hope you got many introductory clause about many other things. But it's not about all that. How you take it. Think about it. At least understand. You can be part of an international language. Your English, your Arabic, when you have both that international language with you, your value is high in the market. Okay? സോ നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുക ശ്രദ്ധിക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുക നിങ്ങളുടെ ഹാർഡ് വർക്ക് നിങ്ങളുടെ റിസൾട്ടാണ് ഓക്കെ അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ്ലി നിങ്ങൾ മാത്രമാണ് അതിൽ നിന്ന് ബെനഫിറ്റ് എടുക്കുന്നത് അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ്ലി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മാത്രമാണ് അതിൻ്റെ അഭിമാനം കിട്ടുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ അൾട്ടിമേറ്റ്ലി ഇത് നിങ്ങളുടെ വർക്ക് മാത്രമായിരിക്കണം ഒരു അധ്യാപകന് ഒരു സിസ്റ്റത്തിന് പരിമിതികളുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നൽകുന്നത് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ദസ് ടൈം sometime we will be having some live classes also we are just planning that if it's work out practically we will be doing that 
okay, if it's practical only. I still say we are ready to make any help. We are ready to give you any help. Same time, Ningal etra matramana, Ningal kudakana villa, Ningal etra matramana, Ningal a market jan udeshikanada, Ningal a highlight in udeshikanade, Athramil Ningal hard work chayiga, other the result to it in the Kalamir. Okay, with every hardship there is an easiness. Okay, so now you have time. Ipun Ningal Kasamaya Munda, Ningal de the Iredil, Ubiogi can, you have a load of time nowadays. Use it, utilize it, make the result. Thank you so much.